Hi, I am Roxana from VP Estate and in this video I will show how to import the Denver demo. On this domain I have installed the team and the team included plugins and the first step that I need to take before importing the Denver demo is to activate the team. Here I will need to add my license code and press check license. My theme is now activated. The second step that I need to take is to install the SVG support plugin. The team supports SVG icons for features and amenities and for the demo SVG icons to be imported along with the demo content you will need to have the plugin installed and active in your site before the demo import. You will need to go to plugins, add new, look for the SVG support plugin this is the plugin that you need to install. I will click install now. I will activate the plugin. And now I can proceed with the Denver demo import. I will go to VP Residence Options, Import Demo. Here you will find all team available demos. You can import only one demo. If you change your mind and you need a different demo, you will need to reset the database and after import the new demo. I will look for the Denver demo. This is the one. I will click Import Demo, Continue and Import, and I will wait for the demo content to be imported. The process might take a few minutes. The demo was successfully imported. Next, I will show the steps that you need to take after the demo import. The first step is to set permalinks correctly. For that, you will need to go to Settings, Permalinks. The permalinks needs to be set as postname. I will save changes. Next, you will need to change the demo options with your own. For that, you will need to go to VP Residence Options General. Here, you will need to check each section and replace demo settings with your own. I will show a quick overview of the options available. In general settings, you can change settings like country, measurement unit and other settings. In logos and favicon you will need to replace the demo logos with your own. In social and contact you need to replace the demo settings for contact with your details. Here you will also be able to add social accounts, set social login and make other settings. In map section, you will need to decide on the map system that you want to use. You can keep OpenStreet or select Google Maps. If you want to use Google Maps, then a Google Maps API key will need to be created and added in the team. Next, in property page section, you can manage the property page layout settings and many others. Next, in property card design, you can customize the property cards that will show in lists. In design, you can manage colors and make other design settings. In email management, you can control the content of the notifications that will be sent from your site. In membership, you can choose the submission type that you want for your site. If set to no, the submission will be free, but you can charge agents or users per listing or using membership packages. In this section, you can also set payments. You can use Team, PayPal or Stripe, or you can enable WooCommerce and use any payment add-on from the WooCommerce plugin. Next, in search, you can set the Team Advanced Search. You can set the type fields that will show in the search and other section and you can make other settings. This is just a quick overview. You will need to check each section and make the settings that you want. Next, I will go on front end. You can see that the demo homepage was imported but you will have to make manual adjustments for the page to show exactly as the one in the official demo. You can see that in this section there are no images. That is because the section was created with a widget that uses property categories and on import the categories IDs will be different. You will need to check this section and manually upload images for each category used here. The same will apply for this section and the rest of the content is imported as in our official demo. I will explain how to manage the two sections that require manual adjustments. The home page was created with Elementor and in this case I will need to edit it only with Elementor. So I will click edit with Elementor button. I will scroll down to the first section. This is the one. The section was created with the VP Residence display 
display categories widget. The demo categories might not be saved and you will need to manually select them here. The demo was created with six categories, so you will need to add six categories. You can select them from this drop down. I will select random categories just to show how this widget works. I have selected six categories. For each of the categories selected, I will need to manually upload an image. I will show the second section as well. Here we used the same widget, just that with a different design. You will need to select here the category that you want to show. The same will need to be done for each element. So I will select random categories. I have selected categories for each element and next I will show how to upload images for each of the categories used. I will go back to admin. You can find all property categories under properties. They are categories, type, city, neighborhood, county, state, features and amenities and property status. I will open type to upload an image. You will need to edit the category. Press the upload image button. You can select an image from media or you can upload an image from your device. I will upload an image from my device, so I will press select files, I will choose the image, press insert into post and update. I will do the same for the second category, the steps are the same, press upload image button, select an image, press insert into post button and update. If I go on home page, here in the widget I will see the images that I just uploaded. The same will need to be done for all categories used in home page. Since the steps are the same, I will add the image of the record and after show the results. I added all images. Now the sections show as the ones from the official demo, this one and this one. These are the steps that you need to take after the demo import. Next I will show a quick overview on how to edit the home page sections. So I will go back to the Elementor editor. I have the navigator enabled to have better access for each page section. I will start with the first one where we added a search form. The search was built with the search form builder for Elementor. The settings from team options from search section will not apply for this search. You'll need to manage settings only from the widget settings. You can enable tabs, you can change the fields and make other settings. You can see that this section has a different background color. You can change that color by selecting the search section and going to style. Here you can change this color and add the one that you want. Going further to the next section, here we created a section that will display properties. For that we used the VP Residence Properties list with top bar widget. Here you will have the option to set the top bar filters, this one. You can change icons and make other settings. In content you can make other settings. We enable the grid option. This means that the number of units per row will be automatically calculated based on the unit minimum width that you set here. If you disable this option, the number of items and number of items per row that you set here will apply. Also, you can add filters and in style and advanced you can make other settings. Going further to the next section, here we created a section for featured properties. For that, we use the VP Residence Featured Property widget. We added three widgets. For each widget, you will need to replace the demo property ID with your own to highlight the featured properties that you want to display in home page. Going further to the next section, here you will have the category section that I explained previously. You will have more options. You can change design type and other settings. Next, in the About section, we added a section with two columns. In the first column we added text and buttons. The text was added with heading widget from Elementor and you can edit it. And also for the buttons you can change the link and make other settings. The same applies for the second button as well. In the second column we displayed agents with the VP Residence list agents widget. This widget also has a grid option that will calculate the number of agents per row depending on the value that you add here. 
and also you can filter agents by categories. The About section also has a different background color. To change this color you will need to select the first section and in Style you can change the color here. Going further you will have the section for property categories that was created with the VP Residence Display Categories widget. I have explained previously that you need to manually select a category and manually you will need to upload an image for each category used. Going further to the next section, here we created a section with an image as background and text. The text was added with the heading widget and you can edit it. The button was added with the button widget from Elementor and you can change the link color and make other settings. To change the background image you will need to select the column and go to style. Here you can delete the demo image and upload your own. Going further to the next section, we have created a section with client testimonial and text. You can change the text here and the button settings. And for the client testimonials, we used VP Residence testimonial widget. You can change client name, image and other settings. You will need to do this for each element added in this section. Next, we created a section for blog posts. For that, we used the VP Residence blog post list widget. You can filter the post and the number of blog posts per row will be automatically calculated based on the value added here. If disabled, the options for number of items and number of items per row will apply. Going further to the next section, here we have a section with a contact form. The section was created with two columns. In the first one, we added contact details using the icon box widget from Elementor. You will be able to change details and icons. And in the second column, we created a contact form using contact form builder widget. You'll have the option to change fields and make other settings. And going further to the last section in the page. Here we created a list with Denver areas. For that we use the icon list widget from Elementor. You can change here icon and the links for the list elements. We added the same widget for each column. For this section we set a custom background color. To change that color you will need to select the column and go to style. Here you can change the color. This wraps our video. Thank you for watching and do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get instant notifications on new videos.